we're not in a black void this time. No. This is a white void. Just subsequently <laughs> what I call your mother. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to our new on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account, subscribe, and hit the like button. We're voiding. This is actually, like, even when we filmed in, that maybe it's because we're normally in, like, a parking garage. Yeah. And so it's, like, dark Parking garage, and the last time we were here, it was, the sun had already gone down. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Sh- anyways. Hi. <coughs> ah! Pick up your lung. Sorry. Uh, so today, uh, we are in the car because we are doing a movie review. Uh, because we just saw the new 2023 film, mm, Jagarathanda, Jagarathanda, Double X. Yes. Uh, directed by, uh, is that Karthik Subaraj? Yes. And written by him as well, uh, starring Raghava Lawrence and SJ Surya. Yep, and Shine Tamo Chaco, as well. Tamo a whole, Chaco is that what is that? Yeah, what it is? I like that. Oh yeah, it's Tom Chaco. No, I like Tomo Chaco. Tomo Chaco. Um, it it just came out. Uh, yeah, like uh, Friday. Friday. Um, so this will be. We'll start with non spoilers, and then if we want to get into some spoils, we will let you know before we do that because it's a new film. So that obviously, if you guys aren't new here, you know how we do it. Um, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back. But this will be our non-spoiler review of Jigathanda Double X. Yeah. Rick, your initial thoughts of Jigathanda Double X. Initial thoughts are um, uh, it really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hello. A, a um, Herculean attempt at a story as far as I was concerned. I mean, it is a massive story to tell. It is... Uh, the score for me was the primary standout. I think the score is extraordinarily good. Mm-hmm. I thought there were uh, the p- pretty solid performances across the board. The one drawback for me was that I didn't get connected in the plot line to the characters in a way I had really hoped I would when we reached... Because all stories, this isn't a... a, a Uh, spoiler, all stories have a conflict climax and a resolution and once you get to that point where you're reaching the climax before the resolution particularly a story like this, I had had hoped I would have been more connected to my my caring about our characters and the caring of the story so the fact that that didn't happen to me Mm. made it a little bit less than what I had expected Mm. but there's there's more good to say a couple of CGI things that didn't work but 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 there's more good to say but it just it wasn't as great as I was hoping it would be Mm. no I I really enjoyed this one um and I love that it's a in in a different way than like other films that we've seen uh, it's a love letter to cinema as a whole really Damo cinema specifically. Yeah, and I bet there's a ton. Uh, right? But I, I caught a bunch of obviously there was there's Hollywood references. There's a bunch of Damo references. I heard originally that um, some maybe you guys could tell me if this was a lie or not. They he wanted superstar Raja Khan in the lead. Oh, and um, Kamal in the oh. supporting. Wow, that was his. That was I believe somebody told me that was his original mm. hope. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not surprising. I think those characters are probably based off of those people. Yeah. And so that's probably like, is like this is who I'm thinking dream, of when I'm doing these characters. Cast, right. The certain characters are just, you could tell they're inspired. Oh, I can see that. Absolutely. By, you know, these legends of Tamil cinema. Yeah. Um, so that uh, I, I really enjoy. I actually got uh, quite connected um, to these people. So th- so that's interesting that you didn't that you didn't feel that. I, I, I understand it, I think, because obviously I think this was more a lot more metaphorical than a full on. Um, I don't know the wor- correct word, but literal. Uh, yeah, I guess literal. Okay. Uh, there are I, I don't think it's totally not literal either either. Um, so it's, it's kind of complicated in that way. But um I get I, I get why you say that, but I actually kind of got um, connected with these. I can't give anything away, obviously. Yep. Um, but I, I got that. But the the main the score for me is what you, oh. you mentioned. The score was absolutely brilliant. The score is um, incredible. And very owed to Tamil cinema, South Indian cinema, oh. Indian cinema as a whole, and including some Western as well. Yeah. Um, so that was great. 
Um, as were as were some cinematography things. Absolutely. For the most part, the the cinematography pretty much throughout, you just are really enjoying top notch quality. Yeah. Cinema. The statements overall, one about cinema. Nature is another big one in mm-hmm, this one, mm-hmm. um, but also how cinema can affect the world around us. Yeah, I think that it's it's politics a, is incorporated. Yeah. Um, I think that was a, a big message, and I think that's one of the main reasons he wanted to not only to celebrate but to also Tamil cinema, but to celebrate cinema as a whole and the the power that it holds. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I think that was an, another thing I really enjoyed. My biggest drawback would probably be the runtime. I think they probably could have cut. Uh, not that anything in it was bad. That I was like, oh, you should have cut that. It was just right. snappier films are always, I think, better. Um, that also helps with the caring aspect. Because absolutely. There's, there's, there's points of that where you you lose connection because, because of the, of the runtime. Little, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and this one, even though it was, there was lots of moments in it that were evident of like, this is... Damo cinema uh, uh, that you're you're displaying on screen. Right, right. There's they also did a lot of build up to that. Mm-hmm. So this is not like I wouldn't even classify this as an action film. No, I wouldn't uh, either. It's more of a drama which has uh, uh, quite a bit of action, but I still wouldn't qualify it as an no, action. No, and I to a certain extent, and maybe they did this because they wanted to in their mind they thought it would be a pleasant surprise. To to a, to a certain extent, the trailer and what we saw leading up to it, the teaser and things of that nature, are a bit misleading because. I think one of the things that might help somebody, I, I don't consider what I'm about to say a spoiler, but let me just say that that in the same, uh, um, that the trailer itself only gives you one aspect of the film. Yeah. There is a large amount of this film that doesn't feel anything like the trailer. Mm. And that for me, uh, I, I felt myself at those points wondering are we going to get back to yeah. that you talking like you almost felt it in parts it did the trailer gave you almost a um nelson vibe it gave you a nelson vibe and, and guns and gulab yeah right yeah and, and this and this actually becomes for those of you who might know and i had had i had this expectation it might have helped me a little bit more in the following of the story because that's something gotcha. that threw me I, I felt like we went we went off and didn't get back to that feeling gotcha. um, of there's a there's a great film that has Robert De Niro in it and and Jeremy Irons, an old film called The Mission that's very similar, mm. <laughs> really, really similar in, in its story. I can get to that in in spoilers. It, not so similar that I think it was stolen, but it's very comparable. And that film has the emotional impact where you care for the people and you you have certain things happen emotionally on the spectrum of the storytelling. So yeah, I, yeah. And I agree with you. Gotcha. I think I think the runtime could have yeah, done I, with that. The, that would be my biggest gripe with clip. it because I I actually really enjoyed the performances and the because I I, I kind of saw yeah, what the they I, I, I saw what they were doing with it in terms of like who they were trying to emulate. Yeah, uh, who they were trying to celebrate. What they were trying uh, to say. What they were trying to do yeah. with the the cinema and uh, a lot of comedy throughout. Um, not as much as like a Nelson film, which no. the trailer did give you that vibe of the entire thing's going to be like this. And, and there's a, quite a bit of it, but I wouldn't say the entire thing is like that. No. Like how Nelson's film, the entire thing, Just there's keeps always going comedy in and out. throughout. Right. Don't expect that. There is comedy though. Um, and I think they do, do well with it. The songs in it, I thought were very, very nice. The singers, the score, as you said, yeah, was absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal. There's a lot of references that I picked up on, and I'm sure there's a billion others, uh, especially Tamil references that I yeah. did not pick up on. You guys were. Um, like I said, because this is just an ode to Tamil cinema. Um, and I think it, it gave you... There, there's parts of the end that I really, really enjoyed, and there's parts that I would have just done differently. Me too. To, to make it hit harder. Me too. But also, that's also Tamil cinema and or Indian cinema, not even sure. just Tamil. Sure. Of, of how you end films. Right. It's a different way than I would end films. Right. Um, <laughs> and we've seen that yeah. many, many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so the, it, it, obviously. He's a Tamil director. He, they, you guys know Tamil cinema better than I do. Um, so that was probably on purpose because of just how it's, just how it's done. Yeah. Uh, but there's certain moments that I'm like that would have been a great moment to end on right there. Um, and there, actually, I think they they had a really good end moment. But I also like it's a difference in how how somebody would have made a film as opposed to somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
What else? Uh, for for non spoilers, before we get into some, uh, we this is actually the first time I think we've seen actually a lot of these actors. Uh, Raghava Lawrence, uh, who's we know more as a dancer. Yeah. Uh, one of the best dancers in all of India, I think, went to the same school as Pr- Prabhu, Prabhu uh, I believe. Um, but I thought his character, I don't think it's, I think it's definitely inspired by Superstar Rajnikanth. Surely. Like, to the fact that if that was his first choice, yeah. it's evident. Because there's also a tips of the cap to but, uh, American Western. American Western. But, like, this is... Basically, a, if it's a celebration of Tamil cinema, you can't tell it without Rajnikanth. No, you can't. Right? Yeah. yeah that's, 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 that's who that's supposed to be. Um, and so uh, you, there, was, there was lots of that, which was, which was very fun to see. I liked his uh, performance in it because it was... And the way they did it, I, it, I think it's in the, the trailer. They go, they're, they're filming a film. And real life, and so right. you kind of switch back sometimes, which leads to some comedy um, and stuff like that. And it, it kind of goes all over the place in the runtime of, and it goes through similar beats that a lot of Tamil cinema goes through. Uh, yeah, and leaves certain plot points and just decides we're not going to talk about those things anymore as it goes off in a different yeah. direction. Um, so there's there's a lots of that, which I I did really appreciate. Um, just how much of it is. Um, that I didn't even pick up on, but uh, I got connected to them in the end. I was feeling it in the I, not that I cried. I don't do that. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> unless there's like a, a dad and a kid now, <laughs> that will that will more than ever that that gets me now. Um, but overall, I, I I really enjoyed the film. Um, my biggest gripe would be you could have cut 25 minutes off of this thing and mm-hmm. made it snappier yeah and still had the same impact i think so. uh, of everything i don't think that would have taken anything away from the story yeah but that would be my biggest uh gripe with the film you you said yours mine, was mine was mine was the connectivity with the characters and caring about what they were doing and their whys like the depth of why they're doing what they're doing and why it matters so much to it it, it didn't it didn't mm. gravitate and I, and I don't know that it necessarily has to do with the fact it could that i'm neither indian or or Damilian. i think yeah. it's just a, a, a the human element of it because there's universal truth in the storytelling which yeah, is yeah. very very good yeah, yeah. it just didn't it didn't magnetize my heart to the characters in the story the way I, I wanted it to based on the, the payoff that's very evident when you get to the end of the film yeah yeah. Um, and I think like I said in the beginning I think uh, some of that was um, I, which I, I totally understand because I think they were going more for a lot of the metaphorical Damo right. celebration part right. of it right. which in turn takes away the direct because they're doing a lot of different things that can take you out of your caring for certain characters or just because they're trying to do something different other than yes. make you fully care right um even though uh, i i did have a different experience with that but i i absolutely see why why you would, would say that um other than that in terms of the non-spoiler stuff um No, that would be a spoiler. Uh, I don't want to talk about that later. But um, yeah, the composition, uh, the composer is Santosh uh, Naranian. Yeah, that would that's a big standout for me um, because you can tell there was a lot of celebration in it. One, but also blends of everything from Western to to uh, Tamil, to just Indian cinema as a whole. Uh, he did a... And it was unique. Yeah. The, everything he did with it was unique. Uh, it I mean, was, it had every... I mean, the amount of genres that the music covered. And when it when it needed to be cinematic, it was. I mean, it was... This is one of the best scores yeah, of the year. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and it was... I, I felt like there was a lot of even Superstar Rajakant's theme in a lot of it as well. Like that. Da, na, na, na. Like yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That's I just associate with him now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there was just a lot of that. There was a lot of like just different genres blended together. Western stuff blended together. Yeah. Um, that I really, really appreciate. And it also kind of even if the film 
was stretching at times. The the score, the score. helped uh, bring that is you what, in. The score is what held me through. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anyways, so that will be at the end of our non-spoilers. So if you li- haven't seen the film, please go watch the film. It's out now uh, in some part. It doesn't have a, a wide distribution. Uh, it's just I, it's a crowded field right now. It, that will obviously theater, does. Theaters are so f- cr- crowded right but now. But I have seen like in other states. Yeah. Um, it's not getting as wide of a release. Obviously, yeah. Tigers came out this weekend and, and other things. But um, So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back because we're going to get into some spoils. spoils. Um, you said there was something you wanted to talk about in the beginning, that you, but there was a spoiler. Or do you remember? What it, or um, I don't remember what it was at the very beginning. Okay. But anyways, so the, the end, I'm guessing you said you didn't... Uh, spoilers. Yeah, spoilers uh, now. It was kind of, just, I, I felt like a full-on ode to Dhamma Sen, because how many times in Indian cinema as a whole do we see the hero be the savior right. of the village? Of and so of it course. hit those same exact beats, even right. recently. It's just, it happens all the time. Yeah. And so I felt a lot of that was kind of like just not only celebration, but also metaphor. I thought they were going to end after he fell and that I thought the they were just going to have the politicians win. Yeah. And I was like this is but then obviously you'd have to bring in the element of cinema that right. can that can kind of and the movie they made the movie they made to uh change and hopefully right. bring about that. And so I right. get that. Uh it was just such a strong statement. It would have been a really nice beautiful statement of the I can't think of another word but the damnable negativity yeah of hierarchies in politics and uh, uh bureaucracy yeah crushing goodness but also yeah. i see the yeah. the flaw in that is the film is not doing it's not trying to do that specifically right, it's right. more trying to celebrate cinema right as a whole so and the I power get, of cinema i get that you have to bring that in and exactly. i actually thought that the, the ending they did was cool in terms of like it was another ode to you know western cinema and damo heroes and yeah and all that kind of stuff and so that was cool and it's just if you could have blended both uh, even better and the power to change like I, I think that line is really great when they're coming out of the theater and you hear the person on the news saying 30 years of her career has been ended in three hours of a film yep then that, that so, film has the power to change people's minds that way so I do get that at yeah. the end yeah, of yeah, yeah. you because you, you if your entire film's about celebrating cinema you have to end it with celebrating cinema but then he also ended it with oh leaders why right so that's a very strong statement, right. again, and, which I really appreciated. And that was where the, you know, the why, the, the why everybody is dying and why everybody is willing to sacrifice all of this and it, it becoming that the prime minister hopeful, the woman who, uh, that she's just ultimately very, very evil and is just trying to obliterate every elephant and every living thing and every human being in the jungle because she's got some people who want to buy the land. The simplicity of that and the non-believability of that for me to just paint the picture of the bad guy mm. distanced me from mm. what I th- I think had the capability. And have, do you remember the movie? Did you see the movie The Mission? No, I didn't. The mm. movie The Mission is a story. I believe it is a true story about a uh, a crusader that's Robert De Niro mm-hmm. and a priest who are in the same tribe, and the priest's goal is to convert them to Catholicism and the Crusaders goal is to obliterate them Mm. but he gets captured by the people and it becomes one of those dances with wolves things where he sees the beauty of the people and simultaneously the good priest Jeremy Irons discovers that what he's going about to try and bring these people all the 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 progress of the 20th century and and also this what he believes is the salvation of their souls he discovers that the Catholic Church is just as corrupt as as the Crusaders who are coming in. And they both decide that they're going to stand with the villagers because the villagers are the more humane and decent people, not the people they came from. Yeah. And it's a really beautiful, revelatory thing that sees these two standing against all odds with these people. And you watch them in the same way you do in, say, Dances with Wolves, or there was another movie with Dustin Hoffman way way back in the day um, where he, too, was a white guy who's raised by Native Americans, where you get, and I know what you said, and I agree, 
this is more metaphorical than it is literal. Yeah. So that that's for me why it, it didn't really yeah. hit. And I saw the director, I'm thankful it wasn't as heavy handed as it could have been, but the yeah. director was trying to grab our heartstrings. Yeah. There were a lot of things that were done that were trying to get us emotionally connected and that just that just doesn't ever work for me. Gotcha. Uh, no, that in part did work for me. Um, I actually liked what they did with the score, the non-score at times. Oh, the score was the, the, At the end of it, um, when, when they were all being massacred, basically. Um, I thought it was a really cool scene. I really liked that a lot. Um, the, uh, the whole saving from the evil bad guy I just thought was like another just an ode like a trope yeah a, a trope thing but also it's the same the same trope that we've seen even in RRR of the hero going back to doing everything he can to save his village mm. we even saw it in RRR obviously that was yeah. that was one of the one of the um elements of that right um so and I think it probably also there's also Hindu elements that I'm obviously sure. we got because they showed a god many many times and the names but, yes. yes and so that stuff I, I'm still not gonna ever pick up on as much as no. people that have lived it their entire lives and there will always be something about the utilization of emotion in Indian cinema irrespective of region it's it's something that's done that is just not part of anything within the Western spectrum no, of storytelling. No, it's very, very unique to them. It's very, very unique. And for, for them, they don't view it in a way that comes across as trying to use particular disciplines that have a manipulative aspect to it. Mm -hmm. um, because they've just that's what cinema has been for them for, for such a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sorry, we had, uh, we had issue mic, mic, mic issues. Mic issue. um, did you catch the Cholet reference? With the sidecar? Or was there another one? Oh, that, I've, the sidecar was definitely one. That obviously. was the one I only. For that sure. was the only one I got. What did I miss? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. When he, when was it? Sorry, long film. Um, he was questioning his men, and he said um, he didn't say kitniabnite, but I believe he said how many were there, and then he said and then he shot him. And then oh, it was when he was questioning yes. his men. Good call. You're right. And it, they, I didn't they, pick up on that. The opening shot was a. I know it because I've looked. I've seen that scene many, many times. But the opening yeah. shot was like the direct on his foot, uh, which is how that scene opens, good, which is on call. Gabar's foot. Yeah, good and it's, call. It's a very similar scene. Uh, so that, that was a fun. Well, and I'm sure there was a billion other it also, similar ones. I don't know like if that. this occurred to you at all at any point, but it's so germane to what we've been going through here in Hollywood for the past several months. But when they did, and I liked it, but when they did the moment where it was clearly Clint Eastwood giving him the camera, yeah. my thought was, does Clint know they're using his likeness? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I'd imagine no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, the end uh, sequence, I, I, I really appreciated. A lot of the dances were, were really great. Um, the What did you think about the baby surviving and the triple X at the end? Hinting, hinting oh. very, very firmly at a sequel, and the baby having survived that car yeah, crash. Yeah, I, I, that was, that was. Oh, the, the, I mean, yeah, it happens all the time where people survive. Oh yeah, crazy things. Oh yeah, in in come back to come back when in I, the end. I've as, gotten as to the, the point now when I see stuff like that in the back of my mind, I go, just remember John Wick for Rick. Yeah, yeah. Just remember John it's, Wick. It's just done for the yep. for the excitement of the audience. Yes. Um, and these are more and for the carry on a story, right? Entertainment um, purposes. Um, but one. This is not a continuation, right? I was told over and over. Obviously, it's Jigger Thanda, yeah. which I was told is not a. It's not. This is actually not related. Maybe he's just telling three different cinema stories. Well, and to make but it that more, one made it look like it was a direct. To make it all the more confusing, when we looked up the film, at least when I looked it up, I found two different places that said this was a prequel and one that said it was a sequel. So, yeah. I, I, I so. I mean, if we were, if it is a direct sequel, like because that the end made it seem like it's going to be a almost a direct continuation. Yeah, right. And and, and the, the the couple of spots, particularly for the most part, it was there were a good job. But there were a couple of CGI spots with the elephants and the fire. Yeah, that you just have to just kind of it's that don't. Look, I liked a lot of the, the guy cinematography, the... and I liked that that the, kind of the villain guy. I mean, he, I guess he's I don't know he's he's like a. A villager, he, kind of like animal, basically. Yeah, um, covered in mud. <laughs> yeah, they, a lot of their uh, sequences were really cool. Uh, this had a lot of like uh, saving nature elements as well. Obviously, big it would be yeah. the elephants, which obviously very pro. Uh, not killing elephants. Don't ever do that. Yeah, no, don't kill elephants. <laughs> Please don't. Um, and don't ob obliterate native peoples from their land just because you're going to make money. Yeah, America. Yeah. Yep. <laughs>
<laughs> we famously did that. We, and we still do. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, just trying to think of anything else before uh, we end here. Any other scenes that we wanted to talk about? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I enjoyed a lot of the the humor in it. The very you could tell certain yeah, the elements. Front end. Certain elements were were uh, Quentin esque in how they did it. A lot of really creative shots. There was one that was really cool. Guy popped his head out, but then they twisted the twisted entire it around. camera. Yeah, it looked really like he cool. had fallen and was being held upside down, and it was just him walking down the steps with the towel over his. Uh, a lot of great violence. You know, I appreciate that. Yep. Um, and so overall, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, it looks like Rick enjoyed it as well, just not as much. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm ultimately glad I saw. Yeah. Um, just, I didn't love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Let us know what you thought about the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you loved it, if you didn't love it, let us know what you thought, what should be our next for this director, uh, and what should be our next Tamil cinema uh, excursion. What is the next Tamil cinema? That can, well, they're all being delayed now. Right. Merry Christmas might be delayed. Did you hear about that? Again? Yeah, to, to after Christmas. Oh, no. But apparently there's Eastern Christmas. I did not know that, actually. How do you... Oh, whatever. Well, like, it's apparently, like, oh. January 12th or something. Right. I didn't know that. Me neither. Uh, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, let us know what should be our next film down below.